Thank you, Mayor Mayor, Mayor and Council. It's nice to be here on the crest of the Good News Wave and what have you, but they did put a damper on my next flight, I must say that. And again, it's a pleasure to, uh, as the Chair of the Mississauga Public Library Board, to bring a semi-annual report card to you and this Council and Citizens. <coughs> the, the, the new procedure of reporting to our community here every spring and fall is part of the Library Board's commitment to its key stakeholders. It's an opportunity to be heard, as well as to listen to how the Library is doing in meeting and changing the needs of our residents. The Library Board has three key roles to perform to ensure contact, contact with its stakeholders, to keep learning about our library system and to ensure that the library is well run. The current board is focused on what has been called continuous pulse taking of our users, what they are happy with and what needs to be improved. Since I was uh, last year, the library board has initiated a series of open houses at local libraries, an evening in which library users can meet the board and express their opinions on the service they receive. The three so far have been most successful with many library users making the effort to drop by for coffee and chat about their library. Of course, much feedback is very complimentary, but ideas are also gathered for action in the future. As well, last November the Library Board held its third annual community forum on the future of the library. Over 40 invited residents spent the evening looking at what is working and what is needed. The Board was particularly proud that over half of the participants this year were young people. And do they have lots to say? It's an, it was an energized evening where all ages and backgrounds spent the time together to make a great library even better. They told the board and senior staff that the number one need was for a great promotion of the services of the library and so an aggressive promotions plan has been created for the coming period. Their number two need, and one we hear a lot about, was the need for library space that works with more people than ever using the library more often. For more reasons, it is important to provide attractive, well-maintained facilities that are well-designed and well-organized to serve multiple needs. That's a tall order, but it's a priority of the current board and management with much work already going on and more planned. The community's third priority is up-to-date technology. Last year saw tremendous development of the library's essential technological services from word processing to wireless to web-based features. But technology does not stand still and even more is planned for 2008 and beyond. The library's value, cost-effectiveness programs and all important collections are always highly praised but the library board is intent on keeping these areas strong through sound planning and management. And the next few years of the board's term will see several key initiatives. The rollout of a new program for early years literacy to every child a reader. And I think you've got the, uh, the, the uh, bag there, the 2008 Celebrate the Joy of Reading. And this will reach out to, uh, to children, parents and caregivers across the city. Now, Don Mills and his team, which is uh, Ann Murphy, Dave Smith, Penny Mansfield and Sue Coles, have already initiated some of these things. They're not just coming, they're already here. We've got programs, the, uh, the readers, um, just excuse me a moment, it's the buddies, uh, Reading Buddies program, which is in place of many branches, and we did get one good report back from uh, the Clarkson branch, where a mother said that her child going into the Reading Buddies program had upgraded himself three levels. So this is good news, and what we're trying to do is just prepare these kids before they go to school to appreciate what it's going to be and enjoy it when they get there. 
And then, of course, we have a Dad and Me program, which is geared to fathers, which currently to suggest it's an important thing for children, especially boys, to see their fathers reading and being role models. So these are some of the things that uh, the board and staff are getting initiated. And I think before you today, and where are we? My gosh, I bless the most important thing. And that was the Friends of the Library. Now the Friends are celebrate 20 years in 2008. And so far they've raised over 2 million for the library, uh, for, the li for the public library. That's the vice chairman looking after me. And in your room, uh, in front of you, you've got this purple thing. So if you look down the center, on the inside of the center column, you'll see various things that they do. We also provide and pay for busing, the master plan for library services conducted every five years by the city. So, Madam Acting Mayor, with the completion of the 18th and final plan branch to serve our great city, and in 2008, as the library celebrates the joy of reading, it is fitting that the library uses once again up, that library visits are up, the citizen satisfaction is up, that volunteerism in the library is up, and so are annual revenues. The community partnerships are up, the use of the library's website, and your library board has never been more active. The library's vision says it all, and many residents took time to tell the board personally over this past year, libraries change lives. So thank you for your support and your attention. Thank you, Daryl Wolf, for coming today. You do an incredible job. I'm on the, George and I are on the library board, and it's a very nice group of people. We have a great time there. We even have the odd uh, celebration in my backyard when uh, all our work is done at the end of the year. So it's really a nice group of people. You work very hard. And I think the Friends of the Library do an incredible job as well. I'm hoping in one of these days the freeze that was put on library transfer payments from the province to here will be lifted and I'm going to work as hard as I can to do that, make your job easier. Because one of the things I think people don't realize in high growth areas like Mississauga, uh, Mr. Harris froze the library transfers per head way back years ago. So as we grew, we keep getting the same amount of money. So we've doubled our people. and. We're functioning on a lot less money. Without the Friends of the Library, we wouldn't have those nice little fireplaces and all the nice things that, that you do. So thank you so much. And you're not a senior at all. You're you're actually oh, you're young, one of the youngest at heart people I've ever met. And, uh, we're just so thrilled that you devote so much time to the city. No, the, the, the confusion sets in. I used to be an old age pensioner. Then I became a senior citizen. And then they suddenly came out with the older adult plan. Now that... <laughs> To some seniors would be a little confusing, like what am I now? And I think seniors is very fitting. It, 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 it does the job well. I mean, you don't want so much political correctness, but it's there, so I don't know what we do. Well, my that. less than darling husband takes great pleasure when we go to the movies announcing in a great loud voice while I'm standing there, two seniors, to get a discount on the tickets, and he gets a whack in the back of the head every time he does it, but so be it. Oh, and one thing I must mention before I leave, the Friends of the Library are not just local. They, they continue their program of donating withdrawn books to needy libraries and schools, and in recent years they have donated withdrawn children's books to several, several native Canadian schools in Northern Ontario. They've also donated children's books to schools and libraries in Jamaica, Ghana, and Ethiopia. And last year we donated fi about 500 withdrawn books to a school in the Philippines. That's on the library website if you uh, care to uh, look at it. And every donation that uh, we have made, local organizations have picked up the bill for the, uh, for the shipping. So if we could get a few of those, it would be nice. Thank you, Madam Acting Mayor. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for coming before us once again, and thank you for being such a great advocate on behalf of both the library and the friends of the library. Thank you. Well done.